taking useful notes in both online and physical classes. Let's talk about it. Hey there, I'm Subhav Ramnani, the guy who's mad about medicine just like you. If you're new here, then make sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking the button below and also follow me on Instagram where I post some amazing medical content, some interesting quizzes and exciting challenges and giveaways. You can find the links to all of this and everything else mentioned in this video down in the description box below. So let's go. So why do we take notes? because we don't want to read the huge books, we just want a small, brief, structured paragraph or text which explains the same concept as in the book. So without much further ado, let me tell you 5 amazing and structured note-taking techniques that you love and also I'll cover some bonus tips in the end, so make sure you watch this video till the end, till the end. Number 1. The Cornell Method You've probably heard about this note-taking method, but I'll divide it into smaller steps so it's easily understandable. Step 1. Divide the paper like this, a smaller column on the left side and a larger column on the right side. The left side column is for you to write questions and the right side column is for you to take notes. Don't worry, it will all make sense in the end. Step 2. During the lecture, use this note-taking column to record the lecture using telegraphic sentences. Keep it simple and short and don't stress on writing full sentences. Step 3. Once your class is over, as soon as possible, formulate questions based on these notes. Write these questions on the left side column. But you may ask, why write these questions when I have already taken the notes? Well, let me give you some reasons for it. Writing questions helps to clarify meanings, reveal relationships, establish continuity and strengthen memory. Also, the writing of questions sets up a perfect stage for exam studying later. Step 4. Cover the note-taking column with a sheet of paper. Then looking at your questions on the left-hand side, try to answer them without looking at your notes. This is active recall. This might seem difficult at first, but you will get a hang of it. And trust me, it provides you with the best bang for your buck. The last step, step 5. This step applies for every note-taking method, which is review. You can make all the pretty notes you want, but if you don't come back to review them, they are of no use. So review these notes regularly, which is basically spaced repetition. And don't just read them again. Do it by the active recall way by covering the note-taking column and trying to answer the questions you wrote. If you're doing it digitally, you can use Notion, which already has a built-in Cornell note-taking method template so that'll save some time for you. Let's move on to number 2. Concept map or mind map or spider map. Whatever you want to call it, they are all the same. So this is basically where you write the main idea or the topic in the center and then further categorize away from it. Let me give you an example. Here I'm writing about vasculitis let's say. Then I can further classify it on the basis of size of the vessels involved. So large vessels, medium vessels and small vessels. Then we can further classify these like large vessels can include maybe uh, Takayasu vasculitis, medium vessels can have polyarthritis nodosa and so on and so forth. All of this mind map, spider map techniques help you categorize things in your mind. It gives a structure to your studies. The best use of this is that it also helps making connections between different concepts by linking let's say two spider maps together. You can really have fun with it. All this will make your studies stick in your mind for longer. And yes, if you're doing it digitally, which you can, apps like Xmind and Coggle can really help. I've made some mind maps of my own. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like to have them. Jumping on to the third note taking method. We have the outline method or let's say bullet point method. In this type of note taking method, you take down your notes in a table of contents format let's say. For example, you write the main topic then below it the subtopic and then below it the further categorization of the topic. So basically this is building a hierarchy of information. It's similar to a concept map or spider map but can be more helpful because you can even add sentences to it in the end of the hierarchy let's say a definition. It doesn't look as cluttered as a spider map and for people who are very very particular about their notes they will love how organized your notes will look after this. And yes, digitally you can use Notion for this. Notion has a toggle list feature which is perfect for this type of note taking method. I've used it, I've tried it and it's amazing. 
Well, we are almost here. Number four, we have annotation. Yes, I mean taking your notes on already made books, printed material, slides, etc. and etc. I know we've all been through that moment when the teacher is saying something else and the book has no mention of it. Well, no need to get anxious about it anymore. If you're the person who can study from pre-made notes or slides, then this is all you need. So when in class, keep your book, slides or anything handy and annotate whatever you think is important and not mention in the text already. You can also just highlight the information which the teacher stresses upon. Well, this will help you know the high yield facts and would be a great asset when you write your exams. One thing I like to do is make up weird mnemonics or diagrams on the top of my book or slides. That way I remember the picture of the page or the slide better. And I know, I know you have some weird mnemonic already which you've made up in class. So let me know down in the comment section below so even I can gain from it. And yes, I have one too. One such instance I remember is we were studying about the cerebellum and the nuclei of the cerebellum to be precise. And you know, these are very hard to remember, the dendate, the fastigial, the globus and the emboliform. And we had to remember this in order from the lateral to the medial side or from the medial to the lateral side. So what I did, I made a mnemonic like on the spot. So it goes like this and don't judge me on it. But this is the mnemonic I made. Ladies demand extraordinary generosity from men. So from lateral to the medial side, these were the order of the nucleus and I just till date remember it just because of this mnemonic. So try it out and you'll love it. And yes, if you're doing this digitally, annotating will be way more easier. I use Notability on the iPad for this. Other impressive options include OneNote and GoodNotes, whatever you feel like. The point here is to annotate on already pre-made notes or books. The advantage to do it digitally, apart from all the colors and highlighters available to you, is that you'll never run out of space as you can add many pages as you want. And also you'll be able to add pictures from the internet, which by the way are a lifesaver. And the last method is record. Yes, if you're anything like me, then you don't like to take notes during classes. Well, you can record the live lecture and then practice any of the above four methods to take your notes or even just listen to the lecture as a podcast when you study the same topic at home. I used to do it in my third year. The only problem with this is that you have to be disciplined. Otherwise, you'll have a bunch of electronic files which you have never opened. On the plus side, you can focus all your attention in class and not worry about taking any notes. Well, one pro tip. Always take permission from the lecturer before recording it. Again, digitally you can use this on Notability and I actually did this and I have so many notes with audio in it. You can also use an old age recorder and be done with it. Whatever floats your boat. So that were 5 amazing note taking techniques I have tried personally and I hope it will be valuable to you both in your physical classes and online classes. Now let's move on to the bonus tips as promised but first let's have a word with our promoters. So Unacademy are coming up with an intensive revision batch for NEET PG 2021 and taking you through the last mile to crack the exam. This will be the final revision batch starting from 25th January 2021. So if you're a NEET PG aspirant watching this, then let me tell you some of the things you can expect from the final revision. This revision will include all 19 subjects and will have case-based discussions on them. You will also learn the clinical-based approach to solve questions as these are being tested heavily in the recent exams. You will also be discussing previous year question papers and analyze them so you can have no stone unturned in your preparation. The classes will be live but the sessions will be recorded if you miss the schedule of the live class. And yes, there will be subject wise tests for all 19 subjects and discussed with solutions and also 4 grand tests so you can test yourself and analyze where you stand among your competition. So subscribe to the Unacademy Plus subscription with the code SUBHAVRAMNANI5773 and get 10% off to get started today. You can find all the details by clicking the link in the description box below. Okay, I'm back with the bonus tips. So number one, pre-read your material and trust me, you will take so much better notes. You won't have to concentrate on two things and it'll be so much better. Number two, ask for the presentation or the slides beforehand from the teacher. So if you know this topic is going to be studied, just ask the teacher for the slides before so you can take notes on it. Number three, Focus more on writing in your own words rather than copying the text or copying the slide. Write it in your own words, you'll remember it more. Number four, 
write short words so you don't skip what the teacher is explaining you we humans are not very good at multitasking so don't try write short words that's good and the last tip is revise the next day if it is all new material if you've seen it for the first time go home revise it and then go home the next day when you wake up revise it and that's about it so this was a different kind of video if you absolutely liked it then click on that thumbs up button and if you loved it then please do subscribe and know when i'll post next and as always stay healthy stay safe and stay mad but just about medicine <laughs> cut that out <end. laughs> it was one minute 22 seconds so done